So the stock market just got way worse and in today's video we are going to be diving in and looking at what on earth is going on and should you invest now or wait. So I hope you guys all enjoy the video. If you guys get anything in value out of it, hit that like button, subscribe. You guys know what to do because we're almost at 21,000 subscribers, which is crazy. So guys, let's dive into it. So looking at the chart, right now we're looking at the daily chart. So each candlestick represents one day. You'll notice we have this beautiful upper trend but ever since january the stock market has just been stair stepping its way down and today the market got absolutely obliterated you'll notice it went from you know highs here at about 3900 all the way down to 3700 dollars for this index which is about a 2.5 percent sell-off so what on earth is going on so <clears throat> The Fed released a statement. The Fed released their new interest rates and they had to increase them by about 0.75. Now, what this means is it's going to make things more expensive to have a loan. So if you're somebody that is looking to refinance your house, buy a house, buy a new car and pay and have a car loan to have some student debt or or even savings could be affected by this. Now, the reason why that is is because when the fed increases the rate it makes it more expensive to borrow money and and before this the average interest rate for a house was nearing seven percent so now we're looking at an interest rate anywhere from eight to nine percent for a house which is absolutely crazy because a year and a half two years ago we had an interest rate of about two to three percent Okay, so what does this mean and should you buy? So for me, I'm, I'm such a long-term investor that I look at this and I think, I th I'm excited, right? I, I, I think this represents a great opportunity to start investing, right? If you're somebody that has been late to the game, now's the chance to invest. Now's the chance to, to start your dollar cost averaging, right? But you have to understand that this is something that is, <laughs> it's not going to be get rich quick. This is going to go through some time. It's going to be volatile and it's going to be risky, right? The reason why is because we could easily see this continue to sell off, you know, and go back down to $3,400 or even $3,200 before we get some rebound. The average stock market recession lasts for about 14 months, some shorter, but on average 14 months. So it started in January. So we are nearing that 12 month mark. So technically, we still have several more months before we can see this recover, just looking at history, right? On top of that, going back all the way to the 1950s, right? Anytime the stock market has fallen 25% or more, if you invest at these bottoms, if you invest every single time, there has been only one time where you don't make money within a year. So I think that should answer that question of should you invest? It's an absolute no-brainer for me. I've been investing in dollar cost averaging every single time because it just represents an, an absolute for sale sign to buy. Now, if you're looking to refinance your home or start you know, possibly a business, this could be a very, very risky and volatile time to do so because of these interest rates. If you're looking to take out any loan, expect it to go up. And that's how it's going to affect you. And some of your savings accounts actually might go up as well, which is always a good sign because you can get a little bit more of your money in interest because the your, the banks will start using your money if you have a savings account and pretty much loan it to other people. And if the rates are more expensive, they're going to pay you more. So that's always a win-win there. But if you're on the flip side looking to take out a loan, it's not the greatest. So that's kind of what's going on and answering the question of should you buy for me, guys. I think it's an absolute no-brainer. Now I'm gonna be buying. So I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe. You guys know what to do. And we'll see you later. Remember to stay happy, stay positive, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Take care.